Over the past two weeks, I turned all of Grand Theft Auto V into the most realistic zombie game you have ever seen. And I'm doing this because I'm basically obsessed with anything zombie related. We do not care. And I didn't just create this zombie world for nothing, I will also be attempting to survive the next 100 days. Starting all the way on day one. As you can see, I currently have no weapons on me, so my goal for day one is to find food and shelter. Now, I really only have two goals for the next 100 days. My first goal is to find any sign of life in Los Santos. My second goal is to become a true zombie survivalist. My score right now is at a whopping zero, but with looting and crafting, that score is bound to go up. And day one started at this nice little gas station here. So I went inside and I started to loot, but it wasn't long until I ran into my first infected. Ladies and gentlemen, I have some, oh, here we go, here we go. First infected, oh my gosh. Wow, they really, uh, they really do not die. I don't want to do this no more. And honestly, most of the day, I had a hard time really finding any loot or food except for the gas station I went to. And before I knew it, it was already nighttime. And you're going to see later in this video just how vicious these zombies get when nightfall approaches. But for now, I found a safe spot on top of a roof where I could lay low. And I set up my tent and my campfire, and I called it a day for day one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is day one in the books. On day two, I was feeling explorative, so I decided to go into a gun store, which quickly turn into a very interesting choice. Hello? Is there anybody in here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Hello? Oh my god. Finding the dead bodies which gave me a gun was both a gift and a curse. The gift was I had a gun. The curse was I still haven't found anybody living in this entire world. I decided to take my gun and head all the way back to my starting area, except now I was going to be able to loot some zombies. Ha <laughs> I got a gun now, zombies, come here. Yeah, all of you. Okay, maybe not all at once. Oh my god, maybe not all at once. And honestly, it felt like a pretty normal day until nightfall came along. I was at a typical gas station looting, but things felt a little off. Oh my god, who are you? Sorry, didn't mean to scare you, my friend. My name is Billy, I mean no harm. Now, I'm gonna be honest. Finding Billy might have been the best thing to happen to me. Because even though it was day 7, it had already felt like a month being completely alone in this world. And I can also cross one of my goals off my list, which is finding somebody living. Billy and I stayed the night in a parking garage, where we quickly set up camp and got ready for bed. On day 8, our first goal was to get some breakfast, and we must have had some serious luck, because right outside our parking garage was... A deer! Billy, come here, look it, there's a deer! Okay, I'm gonna kill it, but I'm gonna crouch down, so just be quiet, okay? Be quiet, just stay there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Breakfast, my friend! Billy and I went up to the rooftop to enjoy our meal, and already, our friendship started to deepen. Boy, I tell you, it's a beautiful day. Uh, Billy? Billy, what... Billy, what's wrong, my man? What What's going on, Billy? Sorry, I just miss my family. Before the outbreak, I lived with them in Paletto Bay. It makes me sad thinking about it sometimes. At that moment, it was pretty clear that I wasn't just surviving 100 days now. I was doing that, but also getting Billy back to his family. That night, our journey started off by us heading all the way back south to get some more supplies. But little did we realize, nightfall had approached, and where we had set up camp the day before was miles away. I hope you're behind me, Billy! There's like a hundred zombies on me! Going on top of the garage. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. lucky enough to escape, and thankfully, Billy also made it on top of the garage. Boy, I tell you, that was a close one. We had no choice but to stay on top of the garage all night. Now, we knew we couldn't handle another zombie attack like we just had yesterday. So we decided to travel all the way across Los Santos to a nice little spot to spend the next few days while we gathered resources to get out of Los Santos. Well, what do you think, Billy? This seems to be like a nice little spot that we could spend the next couple days. Looks like your sister's house. Okay, really? Okay. Billy and I were going to set up shop here for the next few days, but this place isn't fully finished. 
I needed to turn it into a base, and I will call this base the Zombie Defender Base 3000. So I got to work on that. But we didn't just need a base, we also needed a car. If you didn't know, there are multiple vehicles scattered around the map that are unable to start unless you have a vehicle repair kit. So I also started looting to craft one of those. But on day 20, I finished completing the Zombie Defender 3000. It has a new wooden wall on the outside, another wooden wall on the outside of where we're staying, and we have the main wall that protects us from the inside. What do you think, Billy? This is so good, I want to subscribe to your YouTube channel. Hey, he said it, not me. Sounds like a good idea, though. <laughs> and on day 25, I finally gathered up enough resources to craft a vehicle repair kit. And voila! Okay, now I already have the car that I see in the outside, but the big thing is the infected. Okay, if I think if I'm just stealthy enough... Okay, we got a guy behind me already. No, thank you. Alright. If I can just go quick enough, I think I'll be okay. Hurry up, Frankie. Hurry up, Frankie. See them. They're gonna gain on me. Okay, we got it. Let's go. All right, Billy, I'm coming for you, my friend. Let's go. Billy, it's time to go, my friend. We gotta get out of here. You are so slow. Push this zombie out of the way. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Next stop, Billy's family's house. Goodbye, Los Santos. As we continued to drive on the open road, things were all going to plan until our car decided to start having problems. Billy, I'm gonna be honest, this car is not gonna make it much longer, we're gonna have to make a stop, my friend. So, we were forced to set up camp in a little abandoned hotel. I parked the car in a garage and I went into the empty motel room. Okay, let's get a chance to see what our room looks like. Let's see, let's see. Oh, okay, we, uh, we do not have a roof, so that's pretty cool. We got a lot of space, though. I can, uh, I can definitely make this work. And with my advanced building skills, I made the place zombie-proof. Alright, good as new. On day 36, I knew I needed to create a plan to get out of here. The only problem is, where we were, there were hundreds of zombies. But that gave me an idea. The goal is simple. Spend a couple days looting up zombies so I can craft another vehicle repair kit. I will then, for the first time, craft Sticky Bomb! Hooray! Once I have my Sticky Bombs, I will set up shop at this gas station here. The goal is to get all the zombies into one single area to where I will detonate all the Sticky Bombs at once, which should give me enough time to head over to my vehicle and repair it and leave. Should work. Right, Billy? No. Okay, so I have my sticky bombs. Now I'm just waiting for nightfall and I'm gonna head downstairs and start throwing them on the ground. Okay, there are a lot more than I expected, but I'm just gonna have to run with it. Billy, we gotta go back upstairs. Let's go, buddy. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, how many are there? Oh my goodness! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. There's so many already coming upstairs. Okay, uh, another plan here. Okay, this is not working. I got another idea. Yeah, get a little closer. Get a little closer. See ya! Oh my god! I think I bought myself just enough time to prepare this vehicle and then get out as fast as we can. Oh my gosh, I already see them coming. Alright, I'm gonna get out my sticky bombs. Here's the final plan here. I'm gonna throw the sticky bombs on the ground and detonate them when they're all over here. If they can move, 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 move! Hey, look out for fools like me! Okay, I'm gonna drive back down the street in the hopes they all come by the sticky bombs. I'm gonna draw them all the way over here. See you later, zombies! It was nice knowing you! Only two detonated, but whatever. We gotta, we gotta get out of here. All right, Billy. I think we are officially. Oh, we are officially free. Let's go. Billy and I used that car as much as we possibly could on his way to his family. We looted up in different areas each day. Ah! And unfortunately, on day 65, we hit yet another roadblock. Literally. Well, I hate to say it, but I don't think we're going to be driving over this. That's okay. I know we are almost there. Sounds good. So we had to ditch the car and walk the rest of the way on foot. And on day 65, we found a little base up in the mountains. Billy, come check it out. We got ourselves a big old base up here. All right, let's see what this place is about. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to close the door in your face, Billy. 
And so I decided to start setting up camp for the night. When I was done setting up camp, I realized for the first time we were away from all the infected. And it was nice to just have a moment with Billy and I. Billy actually found a guitar, so I played it and we enjoyed the night together. Day 66 hit and we packed up and we made our way all the way to where Billy's family's house was. But unfortunately, it was not good news. I don't understand they must have left. I am such an idiot for thinking they would be here. I couldn't help but feel bad for Billy. Billy, pick yourself up. Who was the person you traveled across the entire state with? That would be you. So why don't we just leave this place together? You mean fly away or something? And right then and there, struck the final plan. Billy and I would head to the military base early in the morning in hopes to find a plane. The goal is to hop on, get onto it, and then fly off into the sunset. The only problem is we needed a vehicle to jump the fence of the military base. Luckily, I've been working on a bike when we got into town. But before we do any of that, I needed to train for the big escape day. Ah! Yes, yes, follow me, zombies. Okay, I'm gonna put a sticky bomb here and lure them all the way over. Oh, zombies, come over here. Goodbye, my friends. And on day 99, we set up camp for one final night. So, Billy, I guess I never asked you, what are we gonna do if this, uh... If this ends up working. I always wanted to go to Europe. Nice. Or your sister's house. Okay, Billy. Billy and I got onto the bike early that morning. We started heading towards the military base and we reached the top of a mountain. And from there, it was time to jump the fence and escape.
<gasps> Billy! It's set to be another beautiful day in Los Santos, with temperatures reaching a high of 91 degrees. All that and more for your daily weather.